Hello YouTube and welcome into a brand new series on the channel for a game called Danganronpa. Uh, excited about this game. Uh, it seems unique, something I've never, kind of type of game I've never played before. So uh, it should be interesting to say the least. It's, it's like a mystery, which I love because I love theorizing and stuff like that. So excited to kind of get into it. Plus it gives me the opportunity to do some voices, which like, I don't really have that much of. I don't have like a whole array of voices. Don't pronounce very well either. Uh, and I trip over my words at times. So. This should be fun. Uh, you've been you've been warned. However, I think it's going to be a very fun game to play. So if you guys happen to like all the episodes, feel free to do all the classic YouTube stuff. Hit those buttons, the subscribe button, the like button, the bell icon to be notified whenever I post a new video. We will be premiering these videos Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays at 2 p.m. EDP right here on my YouTube channel. But guys, without further ado, let's get into it. Let's do it. I think this is like is this like a uh, like a murder mystery? Is that what this is? A murder mystery? All right, so we're gonna do a new game. Uh, English is my is my primary language. Uh, we're gonna go with mean mean. I was told by some people, some very smart people, just to go mean mean. That way we get all the options. Mean and mean. All right, I'm excited. Let's do this. I wonder what this bear is about, or these bears. They're all over the artwork. Last <laughs> off. What the f what am I getting myself into? Uh, that was very elaborate. Oh my god, who is this? <laughs> who is this? It was a very, a very elaborate death. Trigger Happy Havoc. The massive high school towers all over all the other buildings. Oh, sorry. The massive high school towers over all the other buildings in this bustling urban area. It's like the school stands at the center of the entire world. Hope's Peak Academy. It brings in top students from every field imaginable. A government funded school of privilege. They say that if you come here and manage to graduate, you'll be set for life. With hundreds of years of tradition, it sends the cream of the crop into the workforce every year. It was built to raise hope in the nation's future, which makes Hope's Peak a pretty fitting name. There are, over, there are two things you need to attend this... Wait, there are two things you need to attend this school. One, you have to already be attending high school. Two, you have to be the very best at what you do. No ordinary student can could enroll here. The only way is if you could you were scouted by the school itself. As standing there at the gate of the ultimate school filled with the ultimate students. It was me. Before we go any farther, I guess I should introduce myself. My name's Makoto Naegi. Hi Makoto. As you can see. I'm nothing but a hopelessly average high school student. Average on the outside, average on the inside. I really don't have much going for me when it comes to grades, special abilities, even personality. I mean, yeah, I have hobbies and stuff like I do, like I, I, I like to do, but it's not like I'm a psychic or mutant or whatever. Like, if you ask me what my favorite song was or my favorite movie or TV show, they all just be whatever most popular at the particular moment. Even among the average, I'm completely average, so I can't even say I'm your everyday hero type. That's just who I am. Anyway, I figure it's always good to introduce yourself right off the bat. But you know, if I have any kind of strong point, so to speak, I'd say I'm a little more gung-ho than other people. I like this kid. I mean, look at me. I'm completely ordinary, but still. Here I am, staying in front of anything but Ordinary's Hope, Hope's Peak Academy. I still can't believe I'm standing here. I wonder if someone like me can survive in a place like this. I've got this overwhelming presence, like it's trying to swallow me whole. But it's no wonder I would feel that way. What you have to understand is... Well, let me just tell you about the preparation I did last night to get ready for today. Hope's Peak only invites those students who are the truly elite in their field. 
It's such a popular topic. There are threads online dedicated to talking about the school's attendees. So to prepare, I looked up some of those threads. And all I saw was talk about ultimate students who are way beyond your average high schooler. For example, one incoming student is the ultimate pop sensation. I guess she's a high school girl who's also, led, who's also the lead singer for a pop group famous all over the country. There's also the ultimate baseball star. He was the cleanup hitter for the, na the national high school champs. Pro teams already have their eyes on him. I like the animation. Then there's the ultimate fashionista. She's been on the cover of tons of fashion magazines. She's what every high school girl wants to be. That's here's crazy. Oh, and hey, they mentioned the ultimate biker gang leader too. The scary thing is, he's the de facto leader of every biker gang in Japan. Gangs everywhere. I love this guy. On top of that, there's the ultimate martial artist, the ultimate fanfic creator, the ultimate gambler. The ultimate swimming pro, the ultimate programmer, the ultimate clairvoyant, and then some. Reading that made me realize what to how totally powerless I was. It was the country's finest top to bottom. I felt like a tame little house cat who'd wandered into a pride of lions. But still, there was something I couldn't stop thinking about. You see, there were a few students who I couldn't find any info on, no matter how much I looked. With all those ultimate students, I'm the only one without any kind of worthwhile talent. Then, what about those other new students who didn't seem to pop up anywhere? Could they just be average students like me, without any talent or anything? That thought was kind of encouraging. I mean, I know I don't have much in way of personality. But beyond that, there's even a bigger issue. How did such an unbelievably average student like me get picked to come to these ultimate, the ultimate high school? I mean, I guess there is a reason. You just have to take a one glance at the acceptance letter they sent me to see why. We recently held a lottery to, to select one ordinary student to attend our school. As a result, you have been selected and we invite you to join us at the ultimate lucky, as the ultimate lucky student. They spelled it out plain as day. I got invited by pure luck. Honestly, I probably wouldn't have would have not. Ugh. Honestly, I probably would have been better off just declining their offer. But after hearing how graduating was a guarantee for success later in life, I just couldn't say no. You don't. You can't say no. You gotta do it. But then, actually standing there in front of the school, I started to feel lost. Like I didn't belong there. I could feel myself losing my nerve. But still, can't just stand here in front of the gate forever. Frozen in place, murmuring to myself, I looked down at the acceptance letter clutched in my hand. It said there'd be meeting, there'd be a meeting for all incoming students in the main hall at 8 a.m. The meeting still isn't for a little while, but I should probably just head in. Yeah, yeah, let's do this. I gathered up all my determination and tried to act like I'd done this a million times before. And I took my first step toward the main hall. This is where we're supposed to meet, right? I guess I'm the first one here. There's really an elegant clock over in the corner. It says 7.10 a.m. The meeting doesn't start until 8 o'clock, so there's still a full 50 minutes left. It makes, it makes sense nobody else would be here yet. I was so wound up, I got here way too early. I have plenty of time before the meeting. Just standing around waiting isn't exactly... I should take a look around the school. Maybe that'll help calm me down a little. I am a student here now, so there shouldn't be any problem with me having a look around, right? It'll help me kill some time, if nothing else. Trying to play it cool, I took my first step into Hope's Peak Academy. It was also my first step towards starting a new life at a new school. At least, that's what I was hoping for. Oh, no. What the? But the instant I took the first step forward, my view became warped, twisted. 
It was like some kind of delusion melting away and mixing together into something else. Spinning, mixing, melting away, then spinning again. And the next moment, everything went black. That's how it all began. I, I like, it's already got me. It's already got me. And how life as I knew it came to an end. At that point, I should have realized. The reason I was brought to Hope's Peak Academy wasn't because I had ultimate good luck. It was so I could experience ultimate despair. Welcome to Despair Prologue. Despair High School. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's save, let's save data. Let's do it. So, Makoto Naegi. If I get that right. Dot, dot, dot. Dot, dot, dot. Uh, what? Where am I? I woke up with my head resting on top of a hard wooden desk. My body feels heavy. It's pretty normal for me to zonk off in the middle of some boring class or whatever, but... What was I doing asleep just here? Well, he asleep here just now. This isn't a classroom I've ever seen before. What the heck is going on? Welcome to Hope's Peak Academy. Firstly, we'd like to explain the basic controls. You can use the left stick to adjust your aim or aim in here. If you aim at an object you can interact with, you can press X button. And presto, you'll investigate that object. Use the directional buttons or the L1, R1 buttons to adjust your viewpoint. Why don't you try looking around the classroom? Okay. Okay. We got a clock. I'll click on this stuff in just a second. I kind of want to... Oh, oh, perfect. All right, cool. Nice. All right. Let's take a look at this. Jeez, I can't believe it's eight, already 8 o'clock. It was just after 7 when I first got here. Has it really been almost an hour since then? So he's been asleep for about an hour. Is that a surveillance camera? It's a dangerous world we live in. I guess they have to they have these to keep weirdos from just wandering in. That's the desk I fell asleep on. I can see it, a line of drool I must have left there. <laughs> I have to clean that up later. Hey, what's that on the desk? Uh, the next semester is about to start. Starting today, this school will be your entire world. Hey there, new kid. An orientation guide? Some kind of cheap looking pamphlet, and there's something handwritten on it. The next semester is about to start. Starting today, this school will be your entire world. What the hell? Is this someone's idea of a joke? Okay. Can I go? Can I look upward? I, there's an arrow looking up and down, so I don't know. Oh, okay, never mind. Woohoo! Woohoo! Right, so we can't go further down that way. There's a TV. The school is funded by the national government, so I guess it's not what it's not that weird to have TVs in here. Something feels off. I wonder what it is. I better look around the classroom a little more before I head out. Oh, okay, that's the exit. I wasn't sure if that was the doors or or like some sort of like uh, cabinet or something like that. <laughs> Stupid as that sounds. Uh, let's check the floors. Anything left on the floors? All right, so we'll go all the way around here. What are these? Yeah. What the heck? Is any normal classroom? That's where a window should be. But it looks like some kind of metal plate has been bolted over it. And if I were to knock on it. Yep, definitely metal. Thick too, very solid. Wait, 
That's not what matters here. More importantly, why are there metal plates over all the windows? Okay, let's see. So what might have happened is, I got myself so wound up, I passed out in the main hall, and then someone carried me in here. If that's true, it must mean this classroom is inside Hope's Peak. But if that's true, that just raises more questions. This is all really strange. I mean, those metal plates covering the windows, it's like it's a prison or something. None of this makes any sense. I should probably head back to the main hall. It's already past the meeting time. There might be other students there now. You can leave the classroom by pressing uh, the O button. Okay. But I like, is that it? Is that it for here? You already got these, right? Okay, yeah. Bang, bang. Okay. We got that. Okay, it's going over to that. I was like, I wasn't sure if this was something. I always like looking for things, you know? This is like, it's actually, this game might be right up my alley in terms of <laughs> just like investigating and theorizing. All right, so I guess we'll leave. Leave the area. Yes. Jeez, this hallway is kind of weird too. This is getting stranger by the second. I honestly have no idea what's going on. Well, for now, I'll just head to the main hall. Use the left stick to move through the hall. Okay. Hold down O to, uh, while moving to run. Also, you can press the triangle button to bring up the map. Press the triangle button again to close the map. How convenient. All right, so were we just in, where the hell were we just now? Oh, hold on. Hold up. Controls. Can I, uh... Can I change the controls? I'm an invert. I, I play inverted, so like I'm a weirdo that way. So this is gonna be a little weird, aiming wise. All right, were we just in one A? Room one A. The door won't budge. The spare hotel. Room 1B, the door is locked tight. So at least that one you could potentially find a key for. That's, I feel like that's gotta be the main lobby. What's over here, right? I wonder where the red door leads. I'm starting to feel sick standing here. No, okay. AV room? The AV room is locked. Danger keep out. <laughs> the school store. I guess it's not open. By the time I got back to the main hall... Everyone else was already there. I feel like we just Whoa, missed out on hey, some stuff. Another new kid? Dude, he's ripped. Huh? Then you guys are all. Yeah, we're all new here. Today's supposed to be our first day of class. So, counting him, that makes 15. Seems like a good cutoff point, but I wonder if this is everyone. Standing before me were the ultimate students that had been handpicked by the school. I looked around at everyone who gathered there, taking in their faces one at a time. Should probably do the same. Maybe I was just imagining it. But I swear, I could feel a kind of aura coming from each one of them. Um, how's it going? My name is Mako <laughs> Makoto Naegi. Sorry I'm late. A bunch of stuff happened, and then all of a sudden, I was just asleep. Huh? Whoa, you too? Hmm. 
they just keep getting cur getting curiouser and curiouser. Mm -hmm. So strange, I declare beyond a shadow of a doubt that this is a strange situation indeed. Hmm. What are you talking about? I honestly have no idea what's going on right now. Got it. Just a moment. There's something else we must address. Address. Makoto, your tardiness is unacceptable. Surely we were aware the meeting was to start at 8 a.m. sharp. To be late on your first day is unspeakable. I must report you, and you must accept your due punishment. What? What's your problem? It's not like he wanted to be late. He didn't even have any control over it. That's right. Everyone just calm down. Listen, why don't we all go around and introduce ourselves? Huh? The hell? <laughs> Now's not time for friggin' introductions. <laughs> maybe it might be, maybe a good, oh my gosh, maybe, but it may be, oh my gosh, maybe, but it may be a good at least to find out who we are all, all, all are, before digging into the bigger problems here. Oh, that gave me such a hard time. I mean, how are we even supposed to talk to each other if we don't know each other's names? Yeah. That's a good point. Okay, so let's get introductions out of the way then, and then we can move on to whatever else sound else. Sound good? I'm still totally lost, but I think it's best to just focus on getting to know each other for now. So I guess this is a good chance that I'm gonna get. I already looked everyone up to the up on the P Hope Peaks Academy thread online, but I still don't really know what kind of people they are actually. Time to find out. I'll start by talking to those five over there. All right, so aim at the students and press X button to talk to them. My goodness. Reading is hard. Each conversation is important to the overall story, so keep track of how they go. Uh oh, should I take notes? Should we take notes? Let's start out all the way at the end. So, uh, Kyotaka Ishimaru. I'm Kyotaka Ishimaru. I believe in bold simplicity. Let's work together on our educational crusade. I like him. Kyoto, Kyoto Taka Ishimari. So that's Kyoto Taki. Kyoto Taka, according to what I saw about him on that thread, he went to a famous private school and won top honors every year. He's basically a flawless honor student. He also is also known for the work he's done with with his community's public morale committee. They say he respects rules above all else, earning him the title of ultimate morale compass. Anyway, you can call me Taka. You said your name was Makoto Nagi, right? <laughs> That's a good name, a strong name. You should thank your parents for giving you such an excellent name. You hear me? <laughs> and to keep that name from losing its value, you must devote yourself every single day. Life is worth putting every ounce of effort into it, right? Right. This guy is kind of annoying. <laughs> oh my god. Not that you'll remember my name anyway, but... I'm Toko. Toko Fukawa. Toko Fukawa. Ultimate writing prodigy. I feel like, like for the moments where they like show the portrait, you need to like talk in like a present mic voice. Yeah, uh, she wrote a novel when she was uh, when when she was ten that got everyone talking and launched her uh, liter uh, literary career. It's actually funny that I'm stumbling over these words. Then two years ago, she released "So Lingers the Ocean," a love story said to be her masterpiece. The book was such a hit with women that fishermen quickly shot to the copy of every hottest men poll. Despite her age, she won countless library pri literary not library prizes, literary prizes, and all of her books are instant bestsellers, which is why she comes to be known as the ultimate writing prodigy. What else would you call such a young and talented author? But I figured she'd be a lovely dovely, lovey dovey type. That masterpiece being a romance and all. <laughs> What's your problem? <laughs> well, it's, it's not polite to stare, you know. What the heck? Stop staring at me. I'm some like I'm some filthy creature. The filthy creature? No, I just thought. <clears throat> I know what you just thought. 
You just thought you'd never seen such an ugly woman. You just thought it was so funny. No, 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 no. that's not what I was thinking at all. I'm telling you. Don't bother trying to lie to me. I know it's true. Otherwise, you, 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 I know you can't stand looking at me. Anyway. Whatever, I really don't care. I'm used to it. Wow, talk about inferiority complex. I was way off, way off about a successful author be like, would, would be like, that, that, that. Hopefully we get better at reading. I haven't read, read, read this, this much in so long. Sayaka Maizono? Hi, I'm Sayaka Maizono. I look forward to getting to know you. Sayaka Maizono, ultimate pop sensation. The way she moves is positively mesmerizing, and that pleasant scent, I can't quite place. Sayaka Maya Maizono. When I saw her name in the thread online, frankly, I was pretty surprised. She's in a pop, uh, uh, she's in a pop group famous all across the country. In fact, she's their lead singer. As the ultimate pop sensation, she's in high school demand to a She's in high school demand. What is wrong with me? She's in high demand to appear on TV and in magazines everywhere. But actually, she's not the only reason I was so surprised to find out she'd be going to this school. I'm sure she doesn't remember, but... Well, never mind. No matter how you slice it, she's really beautiful. Almost like a doll or something. I'm not a doll, you know. I'm alive. Huh? Did you hear me? I... I'm psychic. Huh? Kidding. I just have really good intuition. She's a sharp one. Hey, um. Huh. Uh, hey, by any chance. Now what? Huh? Yeah, must be. I'm sure of it. Hey, Makoto, did. Just hold on. Jeez, you guys. How long do you plan to waste our valuable time with this ridiculous back and forth? Uh, um. Uh, so sorry. It just got carried away, I guess. You hear me? Self introductions are for introducing yourself, not bubbling through a brunch of idle chit chat. Uh, you're right. Sorry. Sorry, Makoto. We can we can talk about this later. It sounded like Sayaka really had something she wanted to say. But it's not like we'd never see each other again. Like she said, we can talk later. Leon Kuwata. Yo, the name's Leon Kuwata. What's up? I like this guy. Leon Kuwata, ultimate baseball star. I recognize that name. His hair is a little bit longer. He played for the National High School Champs as their cleanup hitter, the ultimate baseball star. And that superb athletic specimen is... You, seriously? Huh? huh. What's wrong? Uh, n nothing. I'm just surprised. I figured with you being the ultimate baseball star in doll... Break. What, were you expecting some kid with a shaved head? Shaved head? No, I was just expecting more of a, you know, spoiled looking traditional baseball type. I mean, when I found the article then, that picture of you online, that's how you looked then. <laughs> what? Aw, oh, man. You found that picture of me playing baseball seriously? I hate that picture. What the crap? This is not cool. This is so not cool. Seriously, like, I'm like a mega embarrassed right now. I didn't have a choice, okay? Shaving your head like that is part of national championship regulations. Seriously? But now I refuse to cut my hair, and I'm not gonna dye it back to normal either. Hey, listen. Actually, can I be totally honest with you? You know, <laughs> I don't like baseball, like at all. I've never gone to to a single practice. He's never practiced, and he was still his team's star player. He's some kind of prodigy. Yeah. And as soon as I get accepted here, I quit baseball for good. I have my own dream for the future. A dream for the future? <laughs> my only path in life is getting into music. You can feel that star quality aura I have, right? You know what I mean. I'm gonna be a singer. So all I need is a songwriter and some and someone on guitar, and we're set. How cool is that? This new version of me that's chasing after my dream is like super cool to the max. I can't believe what I'm hearing. I never imagined I'd hear something like that from a baseball all-star. Hifumi Yamada. I am Hifumi Yamada. But if you want to call me by my nickname, the Alpha and the Omega. I don't mind. 
Ifumi Yamada, ultimate fanfic creator. Mm -hmm. By the way, how much do you know about the world of 2D art? World of 2D art? <laughs> well, in that world, I am well known and supremely well regarded as the ultimate fanfic creator. Mm -hmm. I once sold 10,000 copies of one of my fan comics at a school festival. The event has passed into legend. 10,000 copies at a school event? How many people go to this school? Hmm. Some of them didn't get it. Of course, saying I tainted the event. The event? The event. How stupid can you be? That's too bad about them, but selling 10,000 copies like that is definitely pretty remarkable. However... The words of such idiots mean nothing to me. I am like Van Gogh. Utterly unappreciated in my time. I am a soldier serving night and day to destroy all mindless preconceptions about fan fiction. I'm sure if you were to observe my work, Mr. Niagi, you would comprehend its greatness immediately. Mm -hmm. For my work is filled with deepest meaning. Uh, what, what kind of meaning? Yes, indeed. It's about embracing your basis, Sergius. I don't think I want to comprehend it. Okay, now talk to those five over there. Hina. I'm Aoi Asahina, but my Aoi? parents just call me Hina. Aoi Asahina? Cool. Sup? Aoi Asahina, ultimate swimming pro. Aoi Asahina, she's been breaking records in every competition since she's been in elementary school. She's even been chosen as an upcoming Olympic cadet. She is, without a doubt, the ultimate swimming pro. The combination of her ability, appearance, and, um, proportions have been widely discussed online. Uh, so, uh, what was your name again? Totally forgot. Makoto Neagi. <laughs> oh, yeah, I, I knew it was something like that. <laughs> no, not something like that. It is that. <laughs> got it. Sure, sure, got it. Here, I'll hammer it into my brain right now. Yeah. Makoto Neagi. Makoto Neagi. Just keeps repeating my name and moving her finger across her palm like she's writing something. What are you doing? Huh? You don't know? If you want to remember someone's name, you gotta write it on your hand three times. I've never heard that before in my life. Mm. Hey, by the way, how do you spell your last name? You spell exactly like it sounds. Mm. Mm. <laughs> well, I have no idea. <laughs> I'll just figure it out later and write it down. Okay. Anyway, glad to meet you. Sh uh, sure, same here. Well, one thing I learned, she's totally easygoing and bursting with energy. Chichiro... Fujisasi? Aski? I'm not gonna have to... Ugh, listen. Hello, nice to meet you. I'm Chihiro Fujisaki. 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 Okay. Chich Chihiro Fujisaki, ultimate programmer. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I get kind of embarrassed whenever I introduce myself like this. <laughs> anyway, I hope we can get along. Same here, nice to meet you. Huh? Huh? Maybe it's just my imagination, but have we met before? Um, I don't think so. We just met for the first time, which is why I said nice to meet you. Uh, I'm sorry. Oh yeah, good point, sorry. You don't have to apologize for that. Yeah. Oh yeah. Chihiro Fujisaki is known for all the for all the cutting edge programs she's created. She's the ultimate programmer. She's also got that timid little bunny type thing going on, which has endeared endeared her to her legion of fans. Um, hey, so uh, listen. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm really sorry. Uh, what are you apologizing for now? Um, well, just because you seem upset, you must be mad at me, right? No, not at all. I was just lost and thought about something. Huh? Huh? Lost in thought? Yeah, it, it had nothing to do with me being upset or anything. Thank you. Oh, that's good. I was afraid maybe you didn't like me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad. Oh, I can relate to her. <laughs> I'm just starting to understand why her fans are so into her. Aoko Kirigiri. <laughs> um, can I ask your name? My name is Kyoko Kirigiri. Kyoko Kurigiri, ultimate question mark. She's pretty tight-lipped, huh? Oh, but you know, her name didn't show up anywhere at Hope's Peak Academy Thread. 
and I see that there was students like me, ones who didn't have any real identity or presence. Would this girl be one of them? Hmm. So what are you what are you doing at the school? What? What's that supposed to mean? No, I just meant like getting invited here it means you're some kind of ultimate something, right? So what ultimate something are you? That doesn't matter. Why should I tell you? Huh? Well, I guess you don't have to tell me. <sighs> no, I don't have to tell you, so I'm not going to. Nothing about her turned up online, so I was thinking maybe she got picked by chance, like me, but... Her face is like an iron mask. She doesn't want to tell me anything. No point in asking. Junko and Enoshima? Hi! I'm Junko Enoshima. Charmed, I'm sure. Junko Enoshima, ultimate fashionista. Anybody would recognize this one. She's got more charm and presence than any high school girl in the country. She's the ultimate fashionista. I've seen her on tons of magazine covers, but... I feel like that doesn't quite match up to reality. What? Huh? Come on. Oh, are you talking about my cover photos and junk? <laughs> <laughs> well, of course. They're totally photoshopped. Photoshopped? Yeah, you know, edited to hell and back with, like, computers and junk. Oh, so they aren't real? What can we do? Come on, don't act so surprised. You're gonna make me all depressed. Totally. It's totally normal these days to Photoshop the crap out of, of cover photos. If you're surprised by that, you're totally blown away by the certain dangerous little diva of ours. <laughs> they make the eyes and junk super big and tweak the skin so it looks all ceramic and porcelain. Oh. So many dreams are getting crushed today. <laughs> Mondo Awada. Name's Mondo Awada. Nice to fucking meet you. Oh, we got swearing in this game. I, 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 I like it. I like it. Mondo Awada, ultimate biker gang leader. Mondo Awada, huh? Which means... He's the current leader of the largest biker gang in Japan. He earned respect and even awe from every gang in the country. He's the ultimate biker gang leader. Um... Nice to meet you, too. Yo. Hell yeah. Uh, I'd better be careful around him. One wrong word, and I could wake up at the bottom of the sea. Jeez. <laughs> These four over there are the only ones left. I am Sakura Okami. I think I earlier I said his arms were huge, but uh, apologies for that. <laughs> I am Sakura Ogami. The ultimate martial artist. Oh geez, I, I almost asked her if she was a guy. <laughs> oh no, I made, this, I made that same mistake. Oh my god, I feel so bad. I feel terrible. The day I say something like that out loud is the day I get turned into a human meatball. But now I remember, she's complete. She completed, so she completed, she competed in martial arts tournament in America and won, despite being a girl. She's the ultimate martial artist. She fought in over 400 matches and never lost a single one. That thread also said a bit more about her. Some call her Ogre. That's mean. Some even think that she's the closet, the closest thing to relative, relative to a pro. Oh my God, so mean. The fame missing Link. Any incoming Hope's Peak students who are reading this, let me warn you right now. If you value your life, avoid her at all costs. Standing in front of her now, I don't think they were exaggerating about that. Hey. Hey, you. Uh, yes? I snapped to attention without even realizing it. She even started to start to poke and prod at my body. Um, what are you? I'm oh, sorry. See. <laughs> Muscular quality. The quantity is right around that of an extremely ordinary high school student. Hmm. Hmm, what a shame. You're not even at, at at all fit to act as my training partner. I'm not sure that's such a shame for me. Byakuya Togami. Name's Byakuya Togami. Got it completely wrong. Byaka... Byaku, Byakuya Togami, ultimate affluent prodigy. Hi, uh, nice to meet you. 
the most half-assed introduction I've ever heard. But there was, isn't really anything I could do about it. Even among the ultimate students, this one is special. Bayakuya Tagami. He's the heir apparent of his family. Massive financial conglomerate. He's already started managing businesses, business operations, and his own personal assets are well vast. His title of ultimate affluent, affluent pro, pro, progeny. Progeny. Uh, seriously, reading is hard. <laughs> it's completely accurate. He's a definition of exceptional. That's everything I learned about him from the Hope's Peak Academy thread online. Come so why on. is this guy even in this school? We're done with introductions, right? How much longer are you going to stand there? Go away. I'm sick of looking at you. This aura says to me, you and I will never stand on the same level. Like a king in training. Like, I don't think he even needs to be there. Yashiro Hagakuri. I'm Yasuhiro Hagakure. Hero for short. Take Yasuhiro. Easy, yeah, I know I will. Yasuhiro Hagakuri, ultimate clairvoyant. Yasuhiro Hagakuri, known as Supernova, is a psychic in the psychic community, the trend setting ultimate clairvoyant. Honestly, I don't really get all the fortune telling stuff. It's pretty much beyond me. Still, I can't help but wondering if there's any truth to it. Could it be? Ah, okay, I give up. Uh, what happened? I'm serious. I saw it. I looked right at it. Seriously, I totally saw it. Saw what? Hmm. A guardian angel with a crazy perm chasing after Bigfoot running off with a skyfish in his mouth. And that guardian angel is your guardian angel. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. But hey, we should grab some brewski sometime and get a real deep into Lemura and its civilization. What? We're not even allowed to drink. We're in high school. You know? Oh, I'm actually 21. I've been held back a few times, see? And well, it's a long story. A few times? Yeah, I bet it is a long story. Kind of funny that he's a clairvoyant held back. <laughs> I do not think we have been introduced. I am Celestia Ludenberg. Celestia Lunenberg, ultimate gambler. Celestia Luden, huh? <laughs> Ludenberg, it is my name. <laughs> but if you don't mind, I would prefer you to call me Celeste. Um, you are Japanese, right? Huh? Of course, why do you ask? Why is the Berg part? If you don't mind, could you tell me your real name? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Celeste Ludenberg is my real name. But as I mentioned, I would much rather you call me Celeste. She's polite, pretty forcible, forceful at times. The, 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 the. She's polite, but pretty forceful at the same time. I don't think she wants to say any more about it. I guess the rumors in that thread were right about her. The self-styled Celeste Lunenberg, she's the ultimate gambler who's never lost a bet. Other than that, her obvious love of gothic L Lolita clothes, everything about her is wrapped in a veil of lies. They say she entered and won an underground gambling tournament, earning the Queen of Liars title. She totally cleaned out the other players, taking their life savings and laughing as she did it. <laughs> I look forward to getting to know you better. <laughs> that smile is beyond deceptive. I better watch myself around her. And with that, all the introductions are done. And with that, you guys, I think that is the end of this episode. That is the end of this episode. I, I think I'm gonna like it. I need to learn how to read a little bit better. So apologies for you know, you know, screwing up some of the introductions and stuff like that. But it's gonna be fun. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that thumbs up button, the subscribe button, and the bell icon. Stop by premiere Monday, Wednesday, or Friday at 2 p.m. EDT right here for more Danny and Rapa content. Until next time, go forth the rest of your day, make it a good one, and I will see you in the next one. Take care. Uh, bye bye.